How's it going? My name's Chance. I'm 18. I want to be an aerospace engineer. And this is my entry for For the Yard Challenge by Autodesk. So I've been messing around with the idea of cardboard molding for a few months now and had a really hard time coming up with something good for this project. But then I was outside shooting my crossbow for fun and I realized sometimes I lose arrows in the dirt and can't get them back. And so then I was like, what if it's paper and compostable? And so we're gonna make it. We need to make the mold. Um, so to do that, I made this. We need to make arrow and then we made it the negative space in the rectangle. And then we're taking this and we're splitting the two pieces in half to make a two piece mold. Um, and so for this piece, I'm since it has these little wings, I'm gonna do the bottom piece to mold those wings and then the top piece will be completely flat so um, obviously besides that top half of the radius so yeah let's design okay that looks good now so now that we have the mold let's export it and take it into Kira now let's take um whoa something's not right all right, there we go. I got them all sized correctly. Um, <laughs> so what I was saying earlier is the fletching is in one mold and the other one is just the top half. But I added these spheres, um, so hopefully it'll sit flush. So let's print it and see how it works. Since it's printed so well, I'm going to design some throwing knives and throwing axes, possibly. So perfect. Let's do it. So this project is an extension of XYZ Aiden's cardboard, mold anything out of cardboard. Um, and on YouTube, his video got 1.7 million views and his instructables just blew up. And no one has added on to it. I've seen one entry and it was just a few different molds. So I figured I need to continue down this path. And one thing he talks about in his video is tests on the strength and compostability of molded paper. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down to compost it. I've spent a few months now troubleshooting it and getting it fine-tuned for very small scale prints. Generally, the only issue with cardboard molding is the X and Y shrink and the Z axis expands, which makes it very tricky for small intricate molds. Once you have that blended, you will pour the excess water into some sort of dish. I'm using a paper plate as well as a cheesecloth. XYZ Aiden says this works best, which I did find to be true after testing other alternatives. It provided the best results. Also, I would recommend um, not spilling water all over your floor. Like this genius. But seriously, I would recommend wearing some sort of gloves during this process so you don't have to wash that weird glue texture off of your hands. I'm also going to be sourcing this awesome instructional video from the YouTube channel called Char's Nest. Both her and XYZ Aiden both make amazing in-depth videos on their channels, and I would highly recommend you go check both of them out. I will have both of their channels and videos linked in my Instructables Guide for a better in-depth instruction on the molding process. Anyways, this beautiful bowl of, um, turds is exactly the texture that we want. Okay, so this project took a little bit of a swing because I realized if you're not using plastics and you're using rice paste, it'll fully decompose and be compostable. So I picked up some of this fertilizer and realized uh, why not help my yard even more. Okay, so we made our crossbow bolts and slingshot pellets. I'm gonna use the slingshot pellet as an example. You can be playing outside, having the same amount of fun with the same tools, yet you're not depositing PLA and other wasteful plastics into the environment and your backyard. And in the process, you're actually helping your yard grow. So we're changing the name of this project to Growth Shop. Slingshot pellets, crossbow bolts, and throwing knives. Let's... So I've messed around with cardboard molding a little bit. Just small stuff like this, containers, pencil holders, that sort of thing. Nothing to this level. Um, I really wanted to mess around with the compostability and we'll continue to mess down that path. But my end goal for this project, which is far from over, in a few years, Ideally, I would like to have a small model rocket 
that I can recast over and over and over. And when the model rockets crash, they're compostable. And depending on where they crash, it's gonna help the environment. So I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. This project is far from over. I'm gonna continue for the next few years. Peace.